Hey guys, what is up? This is YoMikeStar238 and today I'm coming at you guys with a cool video. We're going to be doing 20 helpful Minecraft tips. Some of, the, uh, some of these tips you guys might already do. If you do do them, uh, I'm sure there are a few that you haven't done before that are really helpful to make your game more efficient and more fun. If you guys do like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. But with that said, we have 20 Minecraft tips to get through. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let it begin. The helpful tips. First tip is this, don't go cave exploring, because uh oh, you see, you see the keepers coming. Don't ever go cave exploring when you first start in Minecraft survival world without bringing down food, because if you can't heal, oh, now there's another creeper, oh no. <laughs> if, if, if you don't bring down food with you and you don't heal, there's a lot bigger of a chance that you're gonna die, especially if you stink at PVP like I do. And I just lost a lot of stuff, a couple stacks of iron ore, that's never fun, so don't forget to bring food down with you when you first go caving. The next tip is when you are building a redstone structure, and really any structure in, in you know, Minecraft survival mode, don't forget your materials. As you can see, I forgot one rail on that uh, super smelter that I was building, and now I have to go down, I have to craft a uh, powered rail, I have to waste all this time that could have been spent efficiently building my thing, when, when really I, I was one rail short, just one rail, and it's very obnoxious to have to go back and forth getting materials. So I would always say, make sure you have enough materials and the right materials to finish your builds so you can get it done first go. The next most important step is to always have an XP farm, which is this uh, Enderman farm created by Pizza Boss 12. I don't know what video he used, and I, I did say Pizza Boss 12 because there's two Pizza Bosses. My older brother's Pizza Boss 12, younger is Pizza Boss 43. Anyways, always have an XP farm because you need XP all the time to repair tools, to get enchantments and that sort of thing. And if you have to wait and grind to get your XP, that is no bueno, that's not fun. And um, as you can see, this is kind of an insane XP farm. I had never seen one this good before. I'm gonna turn it off because it's gonna be a little laggy, but look at this. Just look at how much XP I've got going to me. Just instant XP is beautiful, amazing. Always have an XP farm. That is a must do on survival when you get a chance because it helps out just so, so much. Tip number four, when you are in the end and you are trying to get an Electra for the first time using Ender Pearls, might not always be the best idea, especially if it's a big throw, you might fall down just like Pizza Boss 43 just did. And uh, <laughs> he's, he's a little triggered, fell out of the world. You lose all your stuff that way. That is no fun. So always be super, super cautious in the end just because you do not want to lose all your stuff. It is not fun. So for tip number five, when you finally do find that end fortress and you got to start battling these guys, these shoulder boxes and everything, look at him spitting his stupid stuff. Always bring a shield. I used to not do that and it makes things so much easier when fighting, having a shield so that you don't end up floating away. Also having water on you and ender pearls is a good idea. Using water, you can actually stay in the water even if you have the floating effect and you, have to, you don't have to worry about floating away. And with ender pearls, if you float too high up, obviously you can just teleport them down real quick. But having these three essential items makes fighting these guys a little less dangerous and a lot more, I, I guess, plausible, just easier to do. So always bring water, ender pearls, and a shield when you're ready to fight shulkers. This one is definitely a big one. Always, always, always check your elytra before you take off, especially if you're in the nether or in the end, because if you fall down in the end, there's a void. If in the nether, there's a bunch of lava. I can't tell you how many times I've fallen into lava only to drown, try to get out, and lose all my stuff as I watch myself burn to death. Never forget to check your elytra durability before you take off. It's so crucial. This one's kind of a no-brainer, but always use Fortune 3 for mineral gathering and stuff. It helps out so much. I'm gonna go ahead and mine these two stacks, one without fortune, one with fortune, and just show you how much it helps real quick. So let's go ahead and uh, mine these things real quickly. Now for the results, on the left we got with fortune and on the right without fortune. Let's check these out. On the left one, we got 64 diamonds with 43. That's a stack and almost two stacks. Without fortune, we've got 48 diamonds. That's less than a stack of diamonds. That, and you just missed out on so much minerals. So this isn't really a tip, it's a no-brainer. Always use fortune three. It helps out so much. It makes things, it makes life so much better. This one also kind of aggravates me. When people don't use Ah, water to get across lava. I don't know why. I, I guess it gets rid of your ugly blocks like granite and stuff, but uh, screw blocks. Why don't you just get water, pour this, and look at this. You get this obsidian pathway that's super instant, super nice. You get to travel over lava really quickly without having the risk of accidentally falling in. It's super easy, super efficient, and, and you can get some obsidian too if you need it. So never always use water to get across path, lava paths especially. 
So we have got Pizza Boss 43 demonstrating with us again. When fighting creepers, don't use swords. Cause look, look, he just exploded and lost all his stuff. Instead, use a bone arrow if you stink at PVP like I do. And that way you can have a safe distance to shoot and kill these creepers so that they don't blow you up and you lose all your items. So always use a bone arrow when fighting creepers if you're not good at fighting. So tip number 10 is when you are building something huge in, cre uh, in survival, you should always test build it in a creative world first. This is a little laboratory hall that I was just exploring right here. And right over here, I'll actually show you my bedroom that I designed as well. And I do break into the wrong entrance right here. But what you wanna do is test it out in creative first, just to see if you like the design. That way you don't waste a bunch of material and time in survival. And as you can see, I really like this laboratory bedroom. So I actually went ahead and I built this in my survival, but always test to make sure first. For tip number 11, if you're ever feeling Feeling uninspired or you want to see some other builds that people have done go on Google images and just check out what other people have done this base right here looks really really cool uh, just look around and see what other people have done just for inspiration so you can be inspired I do this for my builds all the time I look up keywords that are kind of related to my build just uh, what is this I meant I meant to do laboratory movie set there we go but yeah I just look up these cool things and find these cool images like this one right here that just inspire me and make me uh, excited to build my base. For tip number 12, if you are ever playing in a multiplayer world, make sure to hide your goodies. Right here, I'm going into Pizza Boss 12, my older brother's base, and uh, he doesn't know about this too, which is kind of funny. But I'm going in here and I'm starting to look for some goodies. And uh, right over here in this chest, there's some bone meal, which is pretty valuable in a survival world. But over here, he's got an iron ingot labeled on his chest with a bunch of iron ingots and gold ingots, which I could totally take, but I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not a cheater like that. But always keep your goodies safe, especially if you're on a multiplayer server and you don't want all this stuff to be stolen. You can see he's got the ender chest too, which um, that was probably a good idea and, and Mesa. <laughs> but yeah, always keep your goodies safe because you never know if someone's gonna try to steal your stuff. You never know. Let's go into the next one. Tip number 13, when you are first starting off of Minecraft survival and you find diamonds, okay? What you wanna do for this tip is you only wanna take five diamonds at most and label all the other diamonds you find. The reason behind this is because uh, you don't want to enchant an iron pickaxe because that's a waste of enchantment. But if we put a sign here and label and say this is property of Yo Mikester 238, which I'll type out real quick, this shows people that this is my diamond not to claim it, and then I'm going to be coming back with the fortune pickaxe to get the majority of those diamonds. That way I don't waste these diamonds. You know, they're precious resources, so you always want to come back later when you actually have a fortune pickaxe. Another caving tip, when you're mining and you all of a sudden run into... Ah, you run into some gravel. That is one of the worst things, and if you don't have a shovel, it's very, very obnoxious. So use torches. If you break the torch and put it down really quickly, you can see the gravel starts coming down, and, and this is a lot of gravel, oh my gosh. Um, hopefully you won't run into many gravel pits this, this much. <laughs> But always bring a torch, that way you don't have to worry about digging out all this annoying gravel. It's very, very frustrating to have to mine without a shovel. So yeah, bring torches. One more tip for mining is to organize your inventory when you are about to mine. Let me show you. Right here you can see I've got iron and gold and stone and cobblestone laid out because these are the resources I want. That way, when I begin to start mining, I collect the cobblestone because maybe I need that or maybe I need some stone. But instead, when I reach a resource like granite or something like this, look at this, it just sits there. The, the, the block, you don't pick it up, the drop, and you don't have to worry about getting rid of it. Let's, let's go ahead and bury it real quick so we don't have to see it anymore. But um, this makes mining a lot more efficient and easier, especially if you're going out for one specific resource. You don't collect all this garbage that you don't need. So go ahead and organize your inventory because that helps so much. This is most definitely not needed at all, but I'd highly recommend if you are about to do a big grind, we got some music and we got some headphones to listen to. Look at these headphones I got right here. Whenever you're doing something super grindy and big, it's always a good idea to bring some music. I have over a thousand songs for mining just like this. A thousand songs on my phone, just in case I ever, you know, need to do something grindy and I can listen to music that I enjoy. So use music to uh, make Minecraft even more fun, you know? It's great, it's great stuff to listen to. Tip 17 is investing time in a redstone product. As you can see, we just had an iron golem over here appear. This is an iron farm that I created, and uh, there he goes, burning to get us some iron and some goodies and everything. And let me, I just totally missed that real quick. Uh, I'm gonna end a pearl up here real quick. But investing in redstone is a very, uh, redstone projects is a very good thing, even if you have to watch a tutorial, which I did for this. I'll put down the link in the description for this iron farm. But um, right now I'm trying to build a beacon in my survival world and it's, it's producing some iron. You can see right here in my shulker box that I got a lot more iron to, to, than it looks like in the chest. I've been collecting it a lot. But it's always a good idea if you have a huge project to invest a lot of time and effort into making a redstone project. That way you save yourself time in the 
the future. So next time you need some iron or something and you, you don't have to go strip mining, which is so nice. So invest the time in watching a tutorial and making an awesome farm or a good redstone invention. And again, I'll put the link down in the description for this. I don't remember the exact YouTuber who did this, but it's a very good iron farm. So I'll put that down uh, in the description for you guys if you want to check it out. Tip number 18, when you're doing huge excavations and getting tons of sand and resources like this right here, always, always bring a shulker box. As you can see, I can't collect the tile drops anymore because my inventory is full. But if you have a shulker box, just that's the most satisfying thing. Just collecting sand, putting in a shulker box so that you can keep on digging and getting more resources. So always bring a shulker box. If you're about to get a lot of sand or gravel or something, always have extra shulker boxes on you because they are so, so important to make Minecraft more efficient. My second to last tip would always to be have spruce uh, saplings on you and bone meal so you can grow these huge, huge trees. You always need wood, even if it, it, it doesn't necessarily need to be spruce wood, but um, spruce wood is the biggest tree you can get. And it helps out when you need sticks for mine, uh, for pickaxes or, or sticks for redstone components and such thing. So always keep these uh, saplings and bone meal on you so you can get this huge quantity of wood. Even if you're like building acacia, which uh, an acacia house, which you can't really do this with acacia wood, but you can have wood for like sticks and the more non-essential things in your builds to make it go a little bit quicker and it's super efficient mining this wood. I mean, just look at how high up we're going and how much wood we're collecting. It's ridiculous. Always do that. And for my last tip, I would ultimately say have fun with Minecraft. It's not really a tip as much as it is, you know, the reason we're even playing this game in the first place, but Minecraft, it's just so much fun. There's so much to do, so much creative uh, activity that you can be used and always just enjoy playing Minecraft, you know? You can get a light rose and fly around or build huge bases, have base wars, or you can do PVP mini games and play with your friends and stuff. It's so, so much fun. And I'm. I'm flying in the water right here. But yeah, just enjoy Minecraft because it is so much fun. Tip 20, enjoy the little things and, and have fun playing this game always, all the time. With that said and done, I really hope you guys do enjoy playing Minecraft as much as you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out. But that's all we got time for today. If you would like to see another helpful, maybe 30 tips or 20 tips, I, I don't know if you guys want to see another video like this, I would love to do it. It was so much fun to create. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and keep playing Minecraft since we have this COVID onset still going on. You got all the time in the world. Why not enjoy it and play some Minecraft, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm doing a ton of it. But uh, with that said, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video.